I am terribly passionate about the French language, the French culture. I just can't get enough. I've been to France probably 10 times, and I'm not sure if all of this will work. Um, I was actually the attaché for the Olympics, for the French Olympic Committee. Worked with them for four years and absolutely loved every minute. What is it you're trying to do? The oh, there's a sound. Okay. the sound and the microphone is being correct, so let's see if that works. literature and history are, and art have been what I'm so passionate about. But it goes on from there. Uh, I went to a, a school in Vichy where I was learning about music and I was learning about their film, their dance, all kinds of arts and, and now I, that's what I love. And I'm also newly retired so I'm working a little harder on the French cuisine. But what I really love <laughs> about France is the creativity of the people. Every time we go back to visit a place, they've done something new. They've done something different, and so that's what I'd like to show you. I have TV saint monde the largest television station in the world, broadcast from several countries. And I just can't keep up with what they keep doing to places that I've already been to. And of course, the joie de vivre. At this stage in life, I love to look at the things that make me happy. So I'm not going to bring you any tragedies. <laughs> Week one, we'll look at Le Roi Soleil, the Sun King. Uh, the course will be taught in English, by the way. The Sun King <laughs> um, is Louis XIV, and he was the longest reigning monarch, and of course, uh, had such an interesting life, but he influenced Western civilization and the values and the things that um, you may not know about, he brought to us. We'll look at Versailles, his palace, but before that was Vaudeville-Comte and the, the history surrounding those two and all that's being done at Versailles today and continuing. They've opened up the Petit Trianon, the Grand Trianon, the Hamlet of Marie Antoinette, and it's they're building new fountains and redoing some of the others, and so I can share a lot of that with you. Come to Versailles with me. <laughs> Here's the royal palace and the gardens. The Galerie de Glass, it's all mirrored on one side, and on the other side you have the gardens and fountains. It's one of the most beautiful rooms you'll ever see. Painted all over the ceiling, parquet floors, it's, it's absolutely breathtaking, marble. Many peace treaties were signed here. And here is what we call the Latone Fountain. This was right outside the center of Versailles, and they are redoing this fountain, but it plays a major role in the literature as well. Everything ties together thematically, so that's how I'm trying to present this place. C'est la vie, that's life favorite saying of mine. And one of my favorite things is literature. 
Um, I love Moliere. He's the French Shakespeare, they call him. There's a very good translation, rather simple, not as difficult as Shakespeare, um, in the stores now. And so I'm hoping that you can purchase this book. It's not very expensive. And just read the short play because it's a, a discussion point. This is what Louis XIV watched when he was at Versailles. Um, Madame de Lafayette, nobody's going to tell you how these people lived unless it's a woman. And women did not write back then. But Madame Lafayette, I found, believe it or not, the story in English. And the film was made just a couple of years ago of it. And then La Fontaine, the great fabulist, fable, he wrote fables about animals. And so there's not a lot of reading, but you can get online, and I'll give you sites to look at so that you can kind of get some background, and then we'll, we'll discuss what we see. Um, this is Moliere. We're going to read The Would-Be Gentleman or The Bourgeois Gentilhomme. Joie de vivre, the joy of living, dancing, music, film. Those are the things that I'm really excited about. And I'd like to show you some of, of what I've been exposed to and some of what's going on now and, and that I think is so amazing. This is Le Roi Dons. They've done three major movies about Louis XIV recently. The King Dances. This is where ballet started. Our daughter was a dance major, so you need to know that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, also, uh, Notre Dame de Paris. I'm not sure if this will work, but we'll see. I found some of this. I was going to bring my international DVD player, but I found some of this on YouTube, so maybe we can just do that. Uh -oh. I just click on the left where it says log in. language, a cultural perspective, looking at not only the past, but how that's influenced us and looking at today. Some of the art of the times, culture, that's Louis, and the tapestries and all of the other things that accompany it. Bon appétit et bon voyage. 
enjoy your meal. That's what you say before you eat. People are to enjoy their food. And so we'll look at the history, a little bit of the history of French cuisine and cooking and perhaps taste some. And then uh, if you have some needs to travel or want to know uh, some secrets, I've, I've been to France quite a few times and I'd love to share those with you. So please.